Hi, it's Carrie from The Summer Home, and today's video is all about how to decorate a living room. I'm talking textiles like pillows and throw blankets, coffee table decor and styling tips, how you can use artwork in different ways, and so much more. Let's get started. By the way, I will be linking everything I'm sharing with you in the description below so you can easily shop each look. Okay, now we can get started. All right, friends, I stripped my living room down to basics to show you how we can go from this space, which obviously feels empty, boring, and a bit cold, to this space with just a few simple addition. This version feels anything but cold and boring, and I'm going to walk you through exactly what I used to get us here. And these tips can be used for any style or size of room. First, I want to mention that I love to go neutral with my bigger furniture pieces, the rug, as well as my walls. And this way it is super easy to get an entirely new look each season by just changing out the accessories. I can go from light and bright to darker and moodier so much easier than if I had to paint or change out furniture. Okay, let's start with the area rug. I think every living room should have an area rug to define the living space. Even if you have carpet, you can easily place an area rug over the carpet. We currently have this pretty and affordable area rug from Amazon, which I'm completely obsessed with. It is soft underfoot, has the prettiest neutral colors throughout, and all without breaking the bank. But before this rug, we had this wool jute rug, which I also love. We actually had this rug in our living room for over six years. That's how much I loved it. So whether you like a more vintage inspired rug like our current one or a more textured rug like our older one, neutral is a great choice if you want to be able to layer colors around it. I also want to talk about the idea of layering rugs. You can see here that I layered a more colorful rug over my neutral rug to give the living room some added color for a season. This is a great option. Here's a couple tips. One is that a good rule of thumb is that the rug being layered over the top of the base rug is roughly two thirds of the size. And secondly, if you're going to layer a rug, have the base rug be simple like a jute rug. All right, we have talked area rugs in the living room and now it's time to move on. Adding a side table next to your sofa is a must. It not only adds a spot for practical items like a reading lamp, coasters, glasses, or remote controls, but it also gives you a great spot to decorate and add interest but you don't need to have one on both sides of your sofa or sectional if you don't want to. We will be styling the basket and the side table in a moment, but first let's bring in some color and texture with textiles. All right, friends, this is where you get to have fun and bring in color if that's your thing. I'm keeping this look fairly neutral, but you do what you love. I have a couple of blog posts that I will link in the description below that you may find helpful for styling pillows. One is how to mix and match throw pillows, and another is titled, What Size Throw Pillows Should I Use for My Sectional? Okay, here are a few tips you can use when styling pillows on a couch or sectional. First, start with the largest pillows in the back. I always place the three corner pillows first. For this size sectional, I have 24 inch pillows on each corner. And then I go down in size from there to a 22 inch, and then a 20 inch or small lumbar pillow if I'm styling three. And regarding the number of pillows, for a sectional, I like to use three in the center and two to three on each side. And as far as mixing colors and patterns, I like to choose a color combination first. For this look, I started with the center pillow, which has bronze, pinks, creams, and blues. And from there, I chose pillows that included these colors. And as far as mixing patterns, choose pillows with different scales of patterns to be styled side by side. For example, if you are styling a large print floral pillow, choose a smaller print geometric pillow to be styled adjacent to it. And if you aren't comfortable mixing and matching pillows, a really good formula is one solid, one stripe, and one pattern. Here is an example of that look. All right, now that we have placed the throw pillows, I like to add in throw blankets. You can style throws on an arm or back of the sofa, and don't forget to pay attention to the back of chairs if they're visible from different angles. This is a great spot for a pretty blanket. And surprise, surprise, I'm styling a neutral throw, but when I do so, I make sure it has some added texture and interest to it. I love the tassels on this one, especially on the back of a chair. All right, friends, remember the basket I added next to my sofa instead of a side table? Here are a couple different ways that you could style it. One, you could add a cute throw pillow duo. If I'm doing this, I like to vary the pattern and sizes of the pillows I'm using. 
Or if you would rather, you can style a throw blanket and pillow combo instead. I love to drape the blanket over the side of the basket, especially when I'm using a blanket with cute tassels like this one. All right, friends, we styled our blankets and pillows and it is already looking so much better. But before moving on, let's see a few throw pillow looks I've had over the years to give you even more inspiration. Remember when I mentioned that I love a neutral backdrop so I can easily change things up with simple things like textiles? Well, here are some examples of just that. I have styled so many different colors throughout the years, giving my living room a new, fresh look along the way. All right, moving on. Let's style this cutie side table. By the way, this side table is super affordable and currently under $90. I love that it has a shelf giving you double the space to decorate. My go-to for the bottom shelf is a stack of books with a small book topper. And as far as the top, you could style a pot with faux flowers, a pretty vase filled with fresh flowers, or fresher faux stems inside a pot or vase. And if you really wanna keep it simple, you could style a low profile bowl like this wood one here. Side tables are also great spots for table lamps, and if you don't have a plug-in nearby, this cordless lamp is a great option. One more quick thing I wanted to mention before moving on, and that is that stools make excellent side tables and are often a super affordable option. Okay, on to decorating our coffee tables. Here is a no-fill option I love to use, and it is super simple to recreate and make your own. You start with a shallow basket, add in a vase with fresh or faux flowers, a set of coasters, and then finish with a stack of coffee table books. I love to style baskets on my coffee table because it adds texture, but also for their practicality for things like remote controls, reading glasses, coasters, and more. Again, you can make this your own and vary the look by season just by styling a fun vase filled with your favorite color flowers. And here is another coffee table look. For this option, I'm styling another basket, but this one is smaller. Side note, both of the shallow baskets I'm sharing are part of a set of three baskets. These are the medium and large, and I use them all over my home. Like the rest of the items, the basket set is linked in the description below. Along with the basket filled with flowers and a small bowl, I styled a woven box for storing remotes and a stack of coffee table books. And here's a third option if you don't want to style with baskets. I'm obsessed with this acrylic book stand and I love styling it on my coffee table. Along with the book stand, I kept it simple with a vase filled with fresh flowers and a stack of books topped with a marble bowl. Notice how the three items form a triangle. All right, we are moving on to styling my cabinets. This piece is actually a set of two cabinets that I pushed together to form a more substantial piece. And the styling tips that I'm going to be sharing with you will also work for a sofa or console table. Above the cabinets, I have styled a large round mirror. You could also do artwork here. I have chosen a mirror because I have artwork above my fireplace, so I didn't want competing large pieces on the same wall. We will get to the artwork in a minute, but first let's style the cabinets. I love to start with a table lamp and add a large vase opposite the lamp to balance it out. And then I like to add at least one more item in the middle. For this example, I'm styling my favorite acrylic book stand. There are so many different ways you can style your cabinets, console, or sofa tables, and here are a few other examples. Also, I'm going to link in the description below a video I have where I share everything you need to know about styling a console table. Okay, we are moving on to styling artwork. I love styling oversized artwork in a living room and it doesn't have to be over a fireplace. As I mentioned before, it could be over a console table or even on a large blank wall. I've styled everything from dark and moody artwork, neutral artwork, to fun, colorful artwork like what is currently in my living room. Artwork is such a fun thing to change up seasonally. And if you don't have space for an oversized piece, you could do a smaller accent piece like what is shown here. And if you really don't have any usable wall space, you could do a small art easel styled with a piece of artwork or leaning artwork is always a great idea. Okay friends, let's quickly recap what we did to style the living room. Add an area rug, add at least one side table and top with decor or a lamp, add a basket that will help add texture and give you an additional item to style, add textiles like pillows and throw blankets, have fun with artwork and styling your coffee table, and if you have a sofa or console table to style, start with a table lamp and add a vase opposite and fill in the middle. As I mentioned a few times before, you can find sources linked in the description below. And friends, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy styling.